what's going on guys hope you are all having a great day or night whatever time you are watching this no i haven't been sick uh i haven't gotten covid but i have been gone for a couple of weeks as i've been needing a small break for mental health reasons but today we are going to talk about my first impressions of vanguard i know i said i wasn't going to get this call of duty this year but as someone who started their channel on doing Call of Duty, I feel like I'd be letting a part of my audience down by not talking about it. So far, I found that when I play multiplayer for this game, I have to come at it with this feeling of not caring how well or bad I do, and personally, I do not like feeling like this at all. I'm a competitive person, and I always want to make myself do better than I did before. But with skill-based matchmaking, it makes it harder because it actively punishes you for doing well by putting you in lobbies full of people with professional skill level. That being said, many people now are not caring about their KDs because the worse you do, the better of a time you will have for the next couple of lobbies you enter. I've heard a lot about zombies being bad, and, and trust me, I played one game and... I agree, it sucks. You can tell that Treyarch made it as it has the touches and feel of what they are known for. However, there is no easter egg for the one game mode that's available straight out of launch, uh, no pack-a-punch skin, and you can't even pause the game while playing solo as it will kick you for inactivity. I was critical with last year's Cold War, but at least Zombies was alright. Now, I know this is a sledgehammer game, but Treyarch did work on the zombies aspect, and as for someone who, like me who's been playing zombies for years, I personally do not like this one. That being said, you still can level up your guns across the multiplayer and zombies game modes, and I guess that's still cool, but if you play it, the voice acting is super cringe. I Ugh, just you have to go and look up a video of it yourself it's it's horrible trust me um but going back to multiplayer i can say i can have fun as long as i don't care what my score is going to be and not care if i die a lot also the spawns suck because in one of my videos which you will probably see later on down the road it likes to spawn me right in front of the enemy sometimes so as expected there are bugs with all new games but it feels to me as if activision is actively trying to ruin the games by catering to people who are not good at the game and will buy everything they put out and pushing the one and punishing the one excuse me uh the ones who have been with the game for years now i'm not asking for easy lobbies that is not what I want, so please don't take that out of, you know, that I'm trying to say, oh, I want the easiest lobbies to pub stomp people. No, I, I really don't. But when I first started to play COD, I was not good at all. It took me years to get better, and I actively worked on trying to get better because I wanted to be better. I didn't try to get into easy lobbies just for a fun time. I went against people who were better, but the thing is... With this SBMM, when you do try to do what I used to do, you get in a lobby where everyone is at a higher skill level, at least with the other games. You know, there was a mix of people with different skill levels every game. So you never knew if you were going to have, you know, the best game ever or a worst, the worst game ever or whatever. Um, but, you know, to, to sum up my feelings about Call of Duty Vanguard, it's another Call of Duty, with the same skill-based matchmaking as last year's, and will more than likely still cater to the ones that will buy everything in their point store. And see, I have more videos on Vanguard where I will be critiquing the game as it goes, but if you can go without a Call of Duty this year, maybe stick to Cold War. You know, you guys can feel free to form your own opinions down in the comments, but please remember to be respectful to those who have different uh, opinions of your uh, than yours, because 
I will block and remove any comments being rude or harassing anyone, whether that be me or any of any other viewer that may be watching this, even if you don't follow me, I'll, I'll block and remove the comment because I'm not about bullying. I'm not about to sit here and fight with people that, oh, well, you're just being mad because, you know, you're bad at the game or stuff like that. It's like, no, <laughs> I can go and, you know, I can, you guys have seen my videos and I played while during live streams. Like, I think I'm okay. I'm not the best. And yeah, trust me, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. I am not the best by any means. But, you know, I think I'm all right as like a casual player. I don't play for competitiveness anymore. I play for fun. And to me, if I come at it with this kind of mentality of just playing for fun then you know some games i'll do bad and yeah it sucks but some games i'll do good and i'll upload them but you know there's a bunch of other things going on but as my first you know impressions of this game you know it's just another call of duty um you know we're coming up to the end of the game here but before we do, they added a couple of new things that, you know, are different. Uh, I do know in multiplayer that you can level up your certain operator. So now you can get new skins by earning them. They were very uh, adamant about letting people know, hey, you don't have to buy skins for your operators like in Cold War last year. Um, but rather you can earn them. So, so the more you play with an operator... The more XP you get for that operator, you'll earn different, uh, you know, finishing moves and takedowns and everything, uh, new skins and stuff. So, you know, the more you play as a character, the more you get for that character, which is, you know, cool, I guess. Um, here you see that they have this new uh, MVP section of the game. Um, I couldn't even see the score, so, you know, I didn't even write it down anywhere, but... Uh, here you have the choice of voting for the top three people. Um, I'm guessing I had a couple of games where I wasn't, I was in the top three, but I wasn't on the MVP because they have an honorable mention type thing, but I guess it gives you more XP, the more people who voted for you. I have no idea what this is all about. Um, I guess just user interactions, um, you know, it beats me. But, you know, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share the video. Uh, help me get, you know, to 100 subscribers. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. See you. Peace.